The head of the Mandatory Provident Fund Schemes Authority says the public should not expect major changes to the way their MPF accounts are being managed. Still, Anna Wu said the authority will look into different ways to streamline the system, which hopefully will lead to lower fees. Sources say the authority will now recommend to government that a non-profit organization be allowed to manage the accounts. Evelyn Leung reports. Chairwoman of the Mandatory Provident Fund Schemes Authority, Anna Wu, said today it is impossible to make any drastic changes to the existing MPF system within a short period of time. You need to give a, a government or the authority uh, some time to look at all the facts and the figures, you know, how the system would work, uh, how it would impact on different pockets and where the cost is going to come from. However, Wu admitted the administration process of the current MPF system is complicated. She said the report will highlight this problem and the authority is looking into whether it can simplify the process, including helping employees who have more than one account to combine them. An electronic system could also be introduced in the future to allow employees easier access to their account, Wu said. According to a consultancy report, all this can reduce administration fees by 35 percentage points to about 1.39 percent. On suggestions to allow the non-profit sector to help manage the funds, Wu said this is a possible solution to prevent retirement money from being put into high-risk products. This was welcomed by workers' unions because this will protect those who are not highly educated. However, Sally Wong, chief executive officer of the Hong Kong Investment Funds Association, said current regulations are already effective, so there's no need to make any changes. Wu also added the authority is determined to eventually allow all workers to take control of their own MPF accounts. She said the current system was originally designed to cater to employers rather than employees. The employee choice arrangement that began this month, Wu said, is the first step taken by the authority to give control back to the workers. But she said the government and the Legislative Council still need to approve the proposals before they can be implemented. Evelyn Alain, TVB News.